Hello, my name is Cyrus Nielsen and I am a technical evangelist for IBM Storage. Today I will show IBM Table Storage Manager for virtual environments in combination with Flash Copy Manager for VMware. First I log in to our web client graphical user interface and we can see here the various tasks that are available. I will start with a backup. So we can see that we have backup schedules predefined here and what I will do now is I will create a new backup schedule I have three options I can back up to Tivoli Storage Flash Copy Manager I can back up to IBM Tivoli Storage Manager or I can do both for now I will choose to back up to IBM Flash Copy Manager only. I do this by selecting the first radio button here. And the wizard will take me through all the settings. I can define a backup schedule name, which in my case is demo underscore daily so this stands for a daily backup again I'm using flash copy manager to perform a snapshot backup of a data store here I can select the data store in my case I am selecting iSCSI 1 and I can see three virtual machines are on that data store I select all of them I can now define if I would like to include the memory into my snapshot or not. I will not do that. And I can select a device class here. Device class basically is the storage disk subsystem which is available. I only have one here. This is where my data store sits on. And finally I can select a schedule. I will not do this. I will just execute immediately and I am now presented with a summary and I can simply click on finish and the backup task will start so what will happen now is flash copy manager for VMware will create a flash copy or let's say a snapshot of the data store of the complete data store which contains in my case three virtual machines time for the backup will be very quickly since this task is performed inside the disk subsystem we can see here that the backup task was successful so we see a success here and we can scroll down and get some further information about this particular backup so I can see when it, when it took place I can see a backup ID and of course success. Let's try another backup now. I will now create yet another schedule. In this case I will choose to backup not only with Flash Copy Manager but also into TSM what this backup will do it will create a snapshot of the data store and then take the virtual machines and back them up into TSM so this is a hybrid approach basically a backup to disk with a subsequent movement of the VMs in into the TSM server I call this demo underscore monthly and I can again select my data store I'm using the same data store that I just used in this case I'm picking only one virtual machine and I am specifying an incremental forever backup which we support click next and can yet again select the device class the disk subsystem basically and show you how that looks like here and I can again run immediately I get a summary remember in this place the data store snapshot 
will include all the VMs, everything that's on that volume, but my subsequent backup into TSM will only include one virtual machine, and that is simply the case because I have it specified to do exactly that. If I would have selected all the VMs, all the VM, all the VMs would have been would have been transferred into the TSM server. Again, task was successful, and I can scroll down and I can see the backup task and the date and time stamp. Now let's look at restores. Our web interface does include the restore points. And I can sort this by either virtual machine or by data store. You can see that I have selected virtual machines here. And while this is actually querying my restore points, it does get them from TSM server. I want to make a point that everything I do here can also be done through command line. Okay, let's select VM Hull. That was a virtual machine that I have backed up. And what I would like to do first, we can see all the available restore points. This one does, in fact, sit inside TSM server. And first, I would like to perform a restore action. So I would like to restore a single virtual machine. I will talk later about the instant restore and the instant access. For now, I will do a full VM restore. And I will restore this virtual machine under a different name. So I give it a different name so that we can differentiate the creation of this virtual machine. I am presented again with a summary. And I can again monitor the restore task in this case. OK. We can refresh. And the restore still going on. Now it has actually finished. And we can see the success message here. And we can see the name, Restore Demo, monthly. And I am now opening vCenter. And we can actually see in vCenter that this virtual machine has been restored under a different name. So we have basically restored VM Hall into Restore Demo monthly. And we can start this virtual machine. And it's, it's a fully functional virtual machine simply a copy of the one that we had before. Now let's uh, look um, into the reports section. So under the reports, we can actually see what happens. So there are events that took place, and you can also see that the attachment of the volumes is being recorded here. So what we do when we take a snapshot uh, we can mount that snapshot onto a different ESX server, and from there, we just run TSM for virtual environments to back up at the individual virtual machine. Now let's go back to restores. And what I would like to do now is I would like to perform a specific restore action. I have to select data stores in order to do that. And now click on restore. And now I can actually perform an instant restore of a data store. Instant restore means that we perform a snapshot backwards. So we take the copy 
and overwrite the source. And this is for the complete data store. So that's a very powerful function, also a dangerous function, since once this happens, the original data store is being overwritten. I can select one or more VMs. I want to do all of them. Depending on what I select here, the virtual machines will be registered in vCenter. So I've selected all of them. So I will basically do a full data store instant restore. And here is the uh, acknowledgement page. So I have to specify that my source will be overwritten. And I click finish. And yet again, a restore task is being submitted. This is a new function that we have introduced in version 4.1. Please do not confuse this function with an instant access or an instant restore of an individual virtual machine. This is also a function that we support, instant access. I have showcased this function in a separate video. The point here is that it, um, it is supported but should not be confused with an instant data store restore. I am now in virtual center. And here, I can also see all the tasks that took place so far. So under recent tasks, I can actually see exactly what happened. So I can monitor the Flash Copy Manager actions also in vCenter. Thank you.